My name is Matt Ayton, and I'm a certified SolidWorks professional with Go Engineer. This quick tip video shows how to generate bend lines on lofted sheet metal shapes. The creation of bend lines on such shapes depends entirely on the profile sketches. The standard rules for sheet metal loft profiles apply. That is, a gap must be left to produce a seam, and all adjacent sketch segments must be tangent. To get bend lines, you must also make sure the sketches have the same number and type of sketch segments. Additionally, the order of the sketch segments between profiles must match. Lines to lines, arcs to arcs, etc. My first sketch obeys the basic rules. It's made up of lines and tangent arcs. Notice the gap as well. An easy way to make sure each sketch has the same number and type of sketch segments in the same order is to copy and paste the sketch, and that's what I'll do here. I'll edit the new sketch and position it at the origin. And to transition from a rectangle to a circle, I'll make a couple changes. To get a circular shape using the same sketch segments, I'll make the width and height equal and make the fillets much larger. I'll exit the sketch and now loft the two sketches together with the lofted bend sheet metal command. Notice the bend line controls. And the result is, of course, a sheet metal shape that once flattened shows the bend lines. You can, of course, make these appear in the 2D drawing along with the bend notes. This has been Matt Ayton with Go Engineer. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.